Let me guess. You went to use your high steam mini boiler iron. The boiler was at pressure. The iron was hot. You went to press the thumb switch and nothing, no steam. You check to make sure that someone didn't accidentally turn the valve off. That would be a simple fix. But no, the valve is already open. Or maybe the problem is the steam just continues to come out of the iron without anyone even near it. It sounds like it could be the solenoid valve. Today we're gonna to show you how to replace the solenoid valve and get you pressing again. We estimate that this repair should only take 10 minutes. We give it two out of four screwdrivers on our difficulty scale. To do this, you will need a screwdriver, pipe tape, a 14 millimeter size socket or wrench, and a new solenoid valve, our part number IRN189. Remember, before starting any repair, make sure that your mini boiler is unplugged and has cooled down. Remove the steam hose from the valve. To do this, loosen the hose clamp and slide the hose off the valve. There is a small set screw at the solenoid valve connector which needs to be removed. Unplug the valve connector. Next, unscrew the old solenoid valve from the boiler. Apply pipe tape to the thread on the fitting. Screw in the new solenoid valve. Plug the valve connector back into the side of the solenoid and secure with a set screw. Hook the iron hose back onto the valve and secure with the hose clamp. It's easy, and now you're ready to start pressing. Need parts? Have questions? Be sure to check out cleanersupply.com. We're here to help. See you next time.